Hello everyone, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, back again for another video. This time I'm doing it on finding number of triangles in a triangle. What does this mean? So let's just take an example. We have this last triangle here and it's split using this line originating from the top vertex. And we need to find the number of triangles which are present in this shape. That's our question. So there's actually an easy trick to do this. I'm not going to teach you to just count everything. I'm going to teach you using a small trick. So for this triangle, we'll take the base, count the number of times the base is split. So there's one base, second base. It's split by this line. So we can write this as part one and this as part two. Now we can add both of the numbers to get three. And that is the number of triangles which are present in this. Actually, how many triangles are there? We can check. It'll be one over here, two over here, and the third one is the large one. So actually, there are three. There's no more. Now we can do it for a slightly more complicated one. Notice that all of these lines are originating from the top vertex. If they do from the top vertex, only then this trick, which I've taught you, works. Over here, the base is split into four parts. So you do one, two, three, and four. Add all four of the parts and we get 10. So there's 10 triangles in this one. Now for the next one, this does look a bit complicated because of the horizontal line here. But actually, it's quite simple because we can take this base as we just did for the other two triangles. Now we have part one, part two. But then what about this line? Well, we can take that as another base and then it, that is also split into part one and part two. So these two are separate bases, that's why we're not writing 3 and 4 here. So we do 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2, which is actually 6 triangles which are present in this large triangle. So actually when you count it, it'll be 1, 2, and then we have the two large ones, 3 and 4, and then the total triangle, which is 5, and then this one here, which is 6. So there are actually only 6 triangles, and this trick is correct. Now we can do it for this one. Let's first count the number of parts of the base over here. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five. Now for the next base, that's another five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And for that base up there, we have another five parts. So it's one, two, three, four, five. We take all of these as separate bases once again. That's why we are restarting from one for each one. So now if we add everything up, Three of them each will be 15, 15, 15. And if we add all of that up, we get 45. And that will be our answer. Do remember that this trick only works if the lines which are going vertical or diagonal have their origin or their meeting point at the top vertex of the triangle. Otherwise, this trick will not work. Just keep that in mind when you're solving these problems. And with that, I come to the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. This is me, Sanjay Rasu, signing out. Thank you. Bye.